Okay, here we go, folks. And basically, we're getting almost to totality. And basically, I'll upload. I got lucky about... Somebody tries to give me some bad luck, and I work it into some good luck. So basically, we got the British gal down there giving her a deal for SLU. And this is basically SLU's uh, broadcast of it. We started getting it in early. And I wished I would have had the camera going right off the bat. Because basically, you could see some good sunspots. You're going to see some sunspots on the sun. Uh... And now we're, we'll see what we'll get for what we'll get to be able to see the plasma uh, in our coronal as we go around. And I'm doing this right on the fly. And actually, uh, I think I can give you a little bit of sound. I don't want to screw that up. But anyway, I'm getting this live stream. She's sitting there talking. Uh, I'll go down to small here in a little bit. You'll be able to see my central standard time, so you'll know that I tape this live but uh, I figure we'll stay with this there was some po uh, cloud coverage from the original one that I did and if they go away from a shot here for a minute I'll end up going back in and, and start my upload of my first portion of the eclipse it was really cool when it just started the eclipse they had a great shot going on from the Panasonic one and I guess Panasonic's got an ad on this one too no big deal. I can't help the advertising. I don't want to want to advertise for anybody. I mean, this is Mother Nature doing what it's doing. So we'll see what we get for plasma views and so forth. And I showed you on the first one too. I went over and caught the space uh, station, and it was putting the brakes on pretty good. It'll be going. I don't think they can absolutely. And I'll be able to check that in a few minutes too and see where that's at. I'll go over and, and see if the space station was actually able to throw an anchor down and stop in space and use some ro uh, rocket power. Of, it wouldn't take too much to be able to try to stay in a nice position to get some very good observations of this from out in space. And I'm sure there's tons of satellites that can turn their heads right now. They have turned and to take a good look at this to see what they can see safely without messing their lenses up. As you know, always view the sun with welding glasses, a good shade of welding glass, or some used negatives that have been developed that are black, or at least three pieces of, you would not want to use just regular sunglasses. Yep, they have to reduce the glare, and we'll see what kind of shots that they'll try to give us with a Yes, we should be able to see the light getting scattered around here in a minute. Now, to the left, they in there in the image here, they got New Zealand's camera over here to the left. So I might even be get lucky enough to pop away from this Australian footage and get over and get you the footage from the New Zealand camera in the left hand. Like they told a story here, because I know you don't have any sound. Uh, the other one earlier told the story of when they were under an eclipse, I think over an... Uh, it doesn't really matter where, but there was a bunch of crews doing that same, trying to record it. And uh, one of the teams didn't set their alarms and got lucky. They ended up viewing it from the roof of the building, the hotel that they woke up late in, and got some great pictures of that eclipse. And everybody else that was at the other viewing area or something, I think it was in Russia... They got screwed because there was a cloud cover or something that came around. And that's pretty much what happened at the other one. So actually, I got lucky with having some bad luck. And I should be able to get out of here in a few minutes. But this is getting very good here. So actually, you're lucky that uh, you don't have sound because they are doing a pretty good job of blabbing it up on the live feed. I think she's got an echo too. Now we do have uh, the CME that came in yesterday.
So I guess their, their announcers were really kind of, they got a rookie announcer that's basically going, it's like, where's the rest of the sun at? It's going to be a total eclipse here, turd brain. But anyhow. So we got, they got three good positions of cameras because we right now we're getting pretty much close to the full eclipse here on the one Australian feed in the middle and on the right. So I ended up getting lucky on, I want to thank my friends in Gamley because basically I got a good link at the last minute. And as you see, they pop over to that one on the right for a second and then we're back on the one that's totally black because the one in the middle is one we're really interested in right now. And now uh, there is almost totality, totality. Bam, there you go. There is the sun. And it's basically what we're hoping to, what we can see. Now they are on the sun, folks. So basically right now, we don't have a sun star close by the sun. Now we'll see what, what anything we can get if we'll get a flare off the sun, a CME if around this time or not. So we'll see if we get any charged particles that we can see or, or get a glimpse at. That is the moon totally centered on the sun hole. Now you have to realize well how much the sun is just a spotlight. It's just a flashlight out there. And as it comes and it just gets something as small as the moon, and I know that the moon's big, folks, but the idea that it can actually get in the way and block out that much sunlight, okay? I was lucky I had a real smart teacher when I was in grade school, and we've witnessed our first eclipse all together with our classmates when we were kids. And it was very awing to have the lights turned out in the middle of the day and then come back on. And you're going to see that here in a few minutes also. Now, as you can see, we'll get a devil shot, and I hopefully will be able to break away and get off this video because I'm, I'm just giving you as it flies, and I'll probably get cut off before the sun starts reappearing here on the Australian one. But this is the most key period here if we'll end up seeing anything around by the sun, i.e. what we've, I've showed you in the last video, not the exact last video, but two videos ago I showed you what we've been able to see down in Nehemiah. But you got to remember we're at totally different angles here than what you are down below of the earth there. And as you see, they pop over to the one that shot that you see on the right all the time. We don't really care about seeing the announcer's face down there. And to the left, you can see that it's going to be coming in New Zealand and it's creeping in. Now, that I had a dramatic shot in Australia. It was a little bit higher of an angle. It was pretty much at like 11 o'clock, 11, 1030, 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock is what it was end up showing over there. So I'm just, we're just seeing what's actually going on. So now we are getting a very interesting shot here that the idea that that was the moon totally directly centered on the sun now. And now we have more I'm trying to pick up what they're saying. What I'm wondering is if it's possibly the shadow, which would be the same size as the moon. And as it starts to come along behind the moon, then it blacks it out completely. But now the sun is starting to creep out on the other side of the moon. So we're still seeing if we'll be lucky enough that there's a flare or anything, a CME off the sun. As you can see, there's a pretty good little action to the left because you have to realize how huge the sun is. And as you can see, the very little edge of the sun to the left, you can see what we could possibly get a CME the next few days to the left of the sun there as the moon is moving away to the right. This is all live. I apologize for, I don't even really apologize. Whatever you're hearing off me is what I'm seeing live as we're going here. And there's a shot from the other one that they had a camera shot from. I'm more interested in the left one right now as the sun is reappearing to the left. As you see in New Zealand down to the, to the very left lower corner, that's what's coming up there. So we're going to get pretty lucky enough here that I'll be able to keep this going. 
And the only thing is I'll probably get interrupted on the New Zealand feed because I'll have to down and up to be able to get another recording going. I'm lucky I was able to get two recordings in and, and out to you. So I'm not sure where that SLU outreach coordinator and engineer is at. It's probably somewhere between. Uh, the original shot was probably in the northernmost part of uh, Australia. And then probably south of the island, maybe out in the ocean, is what this shot is from. Because as you can see, New Zealand over there to the left lower corner is getting what it's getting there. So I'm just going until I'm going to get uh, a recording notice that the idea that I've recorded. So as you see, we can still even get from this live shot here. That's not me. That was part of what's always keeping an eye on what I'm recording. Like I say, it's scatter, folks. As soon as you open up a recording window, they're watching what you're recording. I didn't touch anything. They may have actually on their feed, too, though, from Ustream screwed up and touch this, their screen and there it goes total black on that sh camera shot there and as you can see in the middle one in the lower that it's starting to reappear the sun still is creeping around I'd really rather have a nice shot of that and as you can see they've got a lot of cameras along this eclipse so they might get lucky and get some stuff that will show some certain things and as you see there that's that one cloudy camera area there to the right lower I don't really interested in that one there I don't think they're gonna to want to show us that much long either they had cloud cover there these other ones were giving us some darn good shots that one's very interesting there I don't need to see him we really do not want to see any announcers and stuff his faces but it would be really nice if they could just get back up to giving us these shots so I'm gonna see what kind of time I've got left you can still see the eclipse going on in the lower area we've got the one middle shot and there finally they get back I can't control what they're shooting yeah I see them having a guy's face on a shot when we're interested in seeing this eclipse stuff I can't not my fault I'm giving you as much as we can here and I'm gonna get out of here if he keeps showing his mug because I know we don't want to see his face. But you still can see the live shots down on the lower part of the screen, folks. Can you tell us? Can you tell us? We can see with our own eyes. And now they got that shot screwed over over there to the left. Uh, they're trying to work with that, but they don't need to see. I don't understand why they're worried about putting their faces on. They must have had to do it for communications. So as you see on the right one, then we would really like to see that camera shot. And they're not doing it. There we go. As you can see, we're getting nice. As the sun is putting off a flare, it looks like on that angle there, on that camera that they had there that was a little bit farther along, we're getting a nice flare off the sun. Either that or we're actually being able to see one of the other stars that's up there by the sun. It'll be interesting to see what people will say about that. I'll have to decide from that too, and they, as they go away from that shot, it's not very nice that they go away from that shot, because we might be getting a lot of good information of actually seeing the other star that we have been seeing lately down at Neomar there. It's been rotating around the sun, and at what that honestly could be there. Okay, That could honestly be those small stars that are around that cluster. They're not staying on that shot very much. I don't know why we're going back to his face really be interested to see that shot there at the right and they're going that one on the left there that's the shot that we'd really like to keep an eye on keep a look at and I really believe that since it's like it is and we're either getting a flare solar flare and we'll have to decide and decipher whether that's a solar flare or if it is that star cluster that we've been seeing down at the South Pole and the way that they keep popping away from that nice shot and showing that dip holes mug and since we see NASA on there yeah, I'm really beginning to believe that we might be seeing